Hello, my name is Evelyn Joy and welcome back to my channel. I decided to make a gift for a friend whose daughter recently passed away um, and I wanted to share with you guys my idea in case you wanted to make something similar. Um, my friend Andy, her daughter Charlotte passed away from a rare genetic disorder that caused her to have seizures and it eventually claimed her life. And Charlotte has an older sister um, who obviously everyone in the family is going to be missing her terribly. And I was thinking, what could I make for them? Because um, a way that I process grief is by making things. Um, for when my mother passed away, I made collages of photos to put on display. I made centerpieces. I I did a, I made a lot of hands-on things and I gave them as gifts at the wedding to people that loved her and um, when my son Gabriel passed away at 17 weeks gestation I um, have a whole video about all the little keepsakes that I made I made him a little blanket um, and I have a whole keepsake box and a whole shelf of little mementos to remember him by and um, so I made some photo collages for my friend Andy for her daughter um, but I wanted to have something tangible because they have all these photos of um, when her daughter was put on hospice and um, she was in her final days they were cuddling her and holding her and hugging her a lot and they're gonna miss that and so um, and also her her color if you'll wonder why all these things are this color, um, the color that we would wear to represent awareness for this disease that her daughter had, um, the color is purple. So I decided to get some stuffed animals and I wanted to find some way of sewing on a picture but making it waterproof and this is what I came up with. These are plastic badge holders. You can get 12 of them for less than $2 in the office supply section at Walmart. And in the baby section, so this is what I got. This is, I got this rabbit because it's almost Easter time. And this is for her sister, a picture of big sister and her baby sister that she's going to be missing, her little sister. And um, I got little tank tops from the baby clothing section of Walmart and I actually cut and tied it to make it fit, fit better and I double tied it so that it won't become a problem and I I cut the picture down to size and I sewed it on right there I sewed through not only the shirt but also into the stuffed animal so that it stays firm on there um, so yeah, that was my invention that I thought of and I could embroider or iron on or use cloth paint on the ears to make it say words. I was thinking of maybe having it say Charlotte, which is the little girl who passed away. Um, Charlotte and maybe hugs to heaven, something like that. But it's the idea of whenever she misses hugging her sister, she can hug this rabbit. But that's not all. I wanted to have something for mama too so I have a rabbit exactly the same but a different photo for her mama um, for my friend Andy so that when she wants to hug her her daughter and she misses her she can hug this stuffed animal as well but that wasn't enough I did I figured you know <laughs> you might want to have a little memento to have with you to carry with you in your backpack, in your diaper bag, in, in your um, purse, in your car, wherever. And so I made this for my friend Andy. She can have it on a shelf if she wanted to. She can have it wherever she wants to. But it's a little a smaller version that she can have with her. And of course, one for her daughter as well. So I chose a different photo for the second one. Um, so yeah, I thought I would share that DIY idea with you all and if you think of my friend Andy please um, pray for her in the loss of her daughter
Um, I'm going to be going to the funeral on Saturday, and it's not easy losing a loved one, and it's even harder losing a child. Um, so anyway, I wanted to share that DIY with you. I also um, bought them some sympathy cards from Dollar Tree. <laughs> And um, they are purple with butterflies and flowers on them. And I actually covered up the words with a picture because I feel like um, a picture is worth a thousand words and you never have the right words to say when someone passes away because the words don't exist. Um, if you say sorry, you know, it's just not adequate. <laughs> but um, just letting them know by physically being there at the funeral and by making things for them, that's my way of sharing in their grief. And I'm going to try to give them a big hug if, if they'll take it. And, um, anyway, that's my craft idea. I hope you're having a better week than I am. <laughs> Bye.